Greetings, South Korea. My name is Robert Mallory. I have lived all over the United States. However, I've spent most of my time growing up here in Minnesota. I am currently searching for a job as an English teacher in South Korea. I first became interested in teaching English abroad after I graduated from high school when I spent a month traveling in Costa Rica. As part of that trip, I volunteered at a children's orphanage. I really enjoyed spending time with foreign children and I was amazed to learn how much we could communicate despite language barriers. After that trip, I decided to go to college with the goal of becoming a professor in economics. However, after a few years of college, I became uncertain if that was the correct career path for me. So I decided to put my degree on hold and go to work in the job market. First, I worked as a technical support specialist, and later I worked as a paralegal at a law firm. Those job experiences taught me how to behave professionally, live independently, and also quickly adapt to new work situations. I believe that all of those real life skills are critically important to successfully working abroad. I enjoyed all of my previous work experiences. However, deep down in my heart, I still had a strong desire to teach, and I also wanted to travel abroad more. I did some research into teaching English abroad, and I quickly learned that South Korea would be the best place for me. I became fascinated with your culture, your sports, your music, your food. The more that I learned about South Korea, the more that I wanted to learn. I also learned that the best institutions asked for candidates with college degrees. So I went back to college to finish my degree, where I also volunteered with an adult ESL program. I really enjoyed teaching English in the classroom, and it further strengthened my resolve to work as an English teacher in South Korea. I understand from my experience that at least some culture shock is going to be inevitable. So that is why I have made plans to help adjust myself to culture shock. First, I plan to adjust to international culture shock by finding a native Korean friend with whom I can talk about cultural differences and misunderstandings. Second, I plan to adjust to job culture shock by frequently asking my fellow faculty members and administrators for advice because even though I'm going to South Korea in order to teach, I am also going in order to learn how to become a better teacher. So I will be very open to your guidance in the classroom. And third, I plan to adjust to familial culture shock by writing a blog about my travels in South Korea. The blog will help my family, friends, and former co-workers adjust to my decision to move to South Korea, as well as make it easier for them to continue to support me in my travels abroad. As an economics major, I learned a great deal about the economic miracle of what is collectively called the Asian Tigers, and specifically that of South Korea. I would be honored to be offered the opportunity to help participate in the great cultural exchange and economic success of South Korea. Thank you for your time. I look forward to speaking with you soon.